Environmental Science Unit 4 Part 2 Second Standard Hello students, how are you all? Before we could start our lesson, let's have a small prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, thank you Lord for giving this beautiful day. Bless all the students, teachers and the school. Bless the students as they are going to learn the lesson. Give them good knowledge and wisdom above. This few mercies we are asking Jesus' holy name. Amen. Hello students. Today we are going to learn Environmental Science Unit 4 Part 2. Last week we have learnt about domestic animals and animals and their homes, animals and their babies. Today we are going to learn about domestic animals, pet animals. Some domestic animals live with us and share our lives. They are called pet animals. On the way to the forest, Chikku saw Surabi and Semalar with their pet animals. Surabi, this is my cat and these are her kittens. They live in our home. Chikku was moving around here and there and finally came away from the forest. And he saw Se Malar and Surabi. And Surabi is introducing about herself and the pet animals she is having. She has a cat and the cat has her babies which are called as kittens and they live along with her at her home. Say Mala, this is my dog and this is its puppy. I keep them in a kennel in my house. I love my pets very much. I feed them and play with them. They love me too. My dogs wag their tails when they see me. I take them to the doctor to keep them healthy. Say Malar introduces her dog and the dog's baby which is called puppy. They keep the dog in the kennel which is dog's house. And Say Malar loves her pets very much and they feed them nicely and play with the dogs every time. And the dogs also love Say Malar so much whenever they see say malar they wag their tail say malar always takes to the doctor and have a checkup so that the dogs be healthy fill in the blanks you can see in the picture there are some pet animals dogs cats along with a boy so here we have to fill up the blanks by seeing the picture. Shankar has two dash and three dash. So Shankar has two cats and three dogs. So Shankar has five pets in all. Wild animals. Chiku then entered a forest. The forest 
is the home of wild animals i am chikku a sparrow may i know about you after visiting pet animals chikku moved towards the forest and chikku wanted to know about the wild animals hello chikku i am an elephant i love to play in the water this is my young one a calf here elephant introduces to chikku herself and its baby which is called a calf the elephant has a long trunk and big ears some elephants have tusks tusks are different form of teeth oh what is this sound it makes me afraid it is the roar of the lion the lion's home is called a den male lions have a mane lions and tigers live in the forest their young ones are called cubs chikku hears a sound and gets scared and chikku asks the elephant whose sound is this which is making me afraid and the elephant says it is the roar of the lion and the lion's home is den male lions will have a mane lions and tigers they live in the forest and their babies are called cubs the tiger's home is called a lair tigers have black stripes on their body some tigers are white in color chikku thanked the elephant and flew out of the forest the tiger's home is called a lair and tigers usually have a black stripes on their body even there are white tigers also so chikku was very happy and thanked the elephant and it flew away from the forest choose the right word and fill in the blanks by seeing the picture we can fill the right word in the blanks elephants have a dash what does it have stripe or trunk it has a trunk elephants have a trunk b dash are modified form of teeth tusks or trunks which is answer tusks are modified form of teeth they have dash eyes and dash ears the options are given small and large so they have big eyes or small eyes they have small eyes and large ears water animals on the way back to her nest chikku saw a pond and some water animals in and around it chikku saw some fish frogs a turtle crabs and a crane frog crab and turtle live both 
on land and in water while chikku going back to her nest chikku saw a pond and there are some water animals around it they are fish frogs turtle crabs and crane but whereas frog crab turtle they can live in the water as well as on the land do you know the young one of a fish is called a fingerling and the young one of a frog is called a tadpole you know fish babies are called fingerling and frog babies are called tadpole birds and nests chikku also saw some birds and their nests each bird's nest looks different birds use sticks thorns cotton and fiber to build their nests some birds such as the woodpecker owl and parrot live in the holes in the tree trunks called hollows chikku has seen some birds also and their nests what are nests nests are the birds homes here you can see different varieties of birds in the pictures but they are staying in different types of nests first one a weaver bird it is had made its own nest by weaving taking the sticks thorns some cotton and build its nest and you can see a crow staying in a nest having some sticks around it and owl it is staying in the trees trunk which is called hollow in the same way parrot also staying in the trees trunk the cuckoo does not build a nest it lays its eggs in the nest of other birds you know cuckoo does not build its nest what it does it takes its eggs and keeps in other birds nest chiku reached home tikku and mother were happy to see chiku chiku spoke about her experiences in the animal world finally chiku reached her home and chiku and tikku both stayed together mother was very happy to see chiku and chiku told all the experiences of the animal world to her mother select the odd one and put a cross tick mark in the box you can see some pictures of birds and their homes and whichever you feel odd we have to tick the first one parrot owl is in the tree's hollow trunk but whereas the other bird is in the nest so we have to put tick for that odd one the second one you can see a bird with nest and the other one woodpecker and the third one in the nest so the middle one is the odd one evaluation connect the animals to their homes by drawing lines you can see the pictures below of homes and animals so we have to connect the animals to their homes by drawing lines the first one is a tree hole the answer is woodpecker woodpecker stays in a tree's trunk hole 
So we have to draw line for woodpecker. The second one is shed. Which animal stays in the shed? Cow. So we have to draw a line to cow. Third one is a kennel. Which animal stays in the kennel? Dog. So let's draw a line to the dog. Fifth one is a nest. And we have to draw a line to the sparrow bird. The last one is a den. Which animal stays in the den? Yes, the lion lives in a den. Are the animals in their homes? Put a tick mark if they are and a X mark if they are not. The first one, the cow is near its shed. So this is the correct one. The next one, the cat is near the coop. Whose home is this? It is a hen's home. So, this is the wrong one. The next one, donkey is near the den. So, this is wrong. The next one, it's a bird. And it's a weaver bird. And this is its nest. This is the right one. Next one, goat is near a dog's kennel. And this is a wrong one. The last picture you can see it's a woodpecker. And it is near its home. And this is the right one. Third one. Write D for the domestic animals. And W for the wild animals. You can see in the pictures there are many domestic and wild animals. We have to keep for domestic D and for wild animals W. The first one is a cow and it is domestic animal. Second dog. It is also domestic. Third one cat. This is also a domestic animal. Fourth one, it is a deer and this is a wild animal. The next one, it is a goat and it is domestic. Next one is an elephant and it is a wild animal. The next one, hen and it is a domestic. The last one, lion, it is a wild animal. Self-evaluation I know about the various habitats and young ones of animals. I care for the animals around me. Now the assignment time. Today's assignment is connect the animals to their young ones and their homes by drawing lines. So you have to connect the animals, their young ones and their homes. And the next one, write one for the animals that live only in water. Write two for the animals that live only on land. Write three for the animals that live both on land and in water. This you have to write one, the animal which live only in water and two which lives only in land and write three which lives both in water and on land. I would like to appreciate all the students for completing their homework, classwork and doing their assignments on time. Okay, keep doing your work on time and study nicely. We will be meeting in the next class. Till then, take care.